Hello and welcome! Let's make your first gravity-based animation together, just like the one you can see right now. We're gonna use a basic cube for this, and we're gonna start by making more of it. Let's go to modifiers, and add the array modifier three times. Now we're gonna enter different values. In this one we're gonna enter 1.1, 1.1 and 1.1, that's in relative offset displacement. In the second one, we will enter 0, 0 0.2, and 0. And in the third one, we're going to enter 0, 0.2, and 0.2. And also, we're going to increase the count to 10 in each of them. There we go. Now, let's also rotate this by pressing R. And I want it to rotate so that they all can fall onto one spot. Like this. Now let's go to physics. Here we are going to turn on rigid body so that they are affected by gravity. And we're going to set it to, oh, let's say 30 kilograms. We're going to set the shape to box. Surface response to 1 in friction and 0.5 in bounciness. And in dynamics, we're going to set it to 0.4 for damping and rotation will be 0.75. And now that we gave this object its physical properties, let's split it into different objects, because right now this is just one thing, and we don't want that. So first let's go back to modifiers and press apply, apply and apply. And now we're going to switch from object mode to edit mode, and now we're going to just press P, and this opens the separate window, and we're going to pick by loose parts. This can take a little bit. Just three seconds on my machine. And now that we switch back to object mode, let's double check that the physics are the same on them. Yes, they are. So that is great. I'm going to select the light, press G and move it away. Select the camera, press G and move it away. And I'm going to zoom out with a mouse wheel some more. So we're going to give these all the same material. I'm going to double tap A to deselect everything, press B to draw a selection box, and I'm going to shift click on one of these. So now we can access materials, and we're going to just change the base color to something nice. And to actually see it, let's go to look dev for now. Just going to double tap A to deselect everything, and now I'm just going to press add mesh plane. And this one is tiny down here, I'm going to press S to scale it and move the mouse away from the center. And now I'm going to give the plane also some physics. Let's click it and then go to physics, set it to rigid body, and set it from active to passive, and also shape from convex to mesh. And its material I'm going to set to something new. This one is going to be just pure white. And I'll do a similar thing with the world. I'm going to set the color pure white but the strength to 0.5, and let's go to rendered mode for this, and let's go to view, navigation, walk navigation, I'm going to just shift W to where I want to go, and I'm going to change this light over here in object data, and from point I'm going to set it to sun, and its strength is going to be much, much less, set it to 1, and in the shadow area I have to set end to something much higher, let's set it to 100 for now, we can also rotate it a little, depending on where we want it to be. Is that enough? I think it is. Let me just go to View Cameras Active Camera. And again, I'm going to go to View Navigation Walk Navigation. So I can set kind of a frame that I want to look at. Oh yeah, and the camera is a bit too short, so we need to also here in the camera context in the object data set End to, let's set it to one kilometer. We're gonna test this in a second. Okay, now let's go to the scene tab and in the rigid body world I'm gonna set the steps per second to something higher like 300. Something I forgot, let's select all these cubes, deselect the plane by shift clicking it twice and let's go to object set origin and origin to geometry. Just gonna deselect everything. Looking nice so far but back here in scene 
we're going to scroll down to cache and we're going to set simulation end at 300 and we're going to also set the animation end to 300 and now we can just press bake let's just move this up, up a little bake and here we go it's calculating the physical animation this took perhaps six or seven seconds so let's try this out if we move on the timeline we have this one cube that is kind of jumping up that can be fun but if we don't want that we just move this down on these z-axis but then we have to just bake it again and at any moment we can really press space to just preview this there it is kind of like a big heap of jelly cubes so yeah i think this is a good timing and uh, a pretty okay animation now what we're going to do is render this of course the shadows are good enough as well in my opinion now we can play around with for example light strength let's set this to point 0.2 perhaps and maybe scale the floor even further and let's see if we go to view cameras active camera we can now determine where it will point to and what it will show in the beginning and at the end i think uh, this yeah this is a pretty good picture so now let's just play it back and just to be safe let's go back to cache and to little bake and bake again and now we're ready to render so let's go to the render engine tab we're gonna leave ev enabled we can try motion blur and ambient occlusion and the output context let's set the output folder over here and accept oh yeah and the frame rate should be 30. in this case you can also set it to 60 it will be much faster then as you can see <laughs> that's nice i'm gonna go for 30. nice and slow jelly but this is not how you should control the speed of course this is just for the output and for the output format, PNG is definitely recommended if you want transparent background, but in my case, I just want AVI JPEG with quality of 95. And all there is left to do is press render, render animation. And now it's gonna render for a little bit. Thankfully, EV is quite fast, but we can improve on this. Let's just press escape and go back to context render. And we're gonna set the render samples to 624. And now let's go to render, render animation again. Actually, I still don't like it. Let's go back. Let's uh, modify the material of the floor a little. I'm gonna use an emission. I'm gonna set the emission to white. And to balance it, I'm gonna set the light strength up to five. And now I'm gonna change the material of the cubes to something a bit stronger. Yeah, I think I like this. All right, and now Control F12 is also a shortcut for rendering an animation, that is. And here we are. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems. And if you were successful, please share that as well. Subscribe to this channel for more Blender videos. And if you want this video to be easy to find in the future, leave a like. I will see you next time. Until then, ciao.